Hey everyone, welcome back. We're here at the Cobb, going for a quick, easy camp somewhere up the valley. It's quite a nice day. Victoria's here, and we're just going to make our way casually up the valley, find a nice campsite, get a little fire going, and cook up some delicious lamb wraps. Walking through all these beautiful buttercups in the Cobb Valley. It's nice and cool today. Got a bit of overcast cloud. It's pretty nice to walk down through here with this additional colour on the landscape. We just pulled off the track. Whoa! Whoa. A what huge a fish. fish. Big trout just jumped out of the river. Whoa, it's a bit of a breeze here. It's a little bit cold. We're just sitting down here having a snack by the river. We've walked most of the way down the valley and now we are going to try and find a nice campsite, probably somewhere that way. In the trees, somewhere along here. We've just been walking back and forth across the Cobb River, looking for spots. And I think we're ending up back in the spot that we've been to before, because it's already good and there's a great fire pit there. So it's about, I don't know, four o'clock. And we'll get the tent pitched and start doing things. There's something I prepared earlier. This big fire pit with river rocks. We've already got a stack of wood from winter. Perfect setup. Just have to find a good spot for the tent. This is the tent pitch scene, alright? Tent. And voila. The tent is pitched. There's a bit of a breeze coming through. Which is kind of annoying, but we'll get everything set up in the tent now and I'll probably go for a forage, get some firewood. But it's pretty nice. Pretty nice place to be. We're all pitched up, got our chairs out. Gonna get a cup of good old Earl Grey on the brew. Just chill out and enjoy the vistas. And then, I don't know, might have to jump in the water. <laughs> it's pretty cold, I just filled up the water bottles and my hand went numb. <laughs> so, I don't know if we'll get in, but Victoria brought a little black solar shower pouch, which is filled up with water gonna go hang it in the bush and she could have a, <laughs> a warm shower not sure how much it'll heat up between now and then but it'll definitely be warmer than the stream it'll be interesting to see how that works you excited for that mm, yeah excited for a cup of tea a cup of tea will be good tea bags in it's a cute little teapot some chilled tea from my chiller bag chilled milk not tea <laughs> oh, <laughs> is that enough the tea's hot yeah, that's perfect. I'm considering getting into the plunge pool. Not really sure if it's a good idea though. The water's real cold. Holy! Oh! Oh! I've been having cold showers at home. Every time I have a shower, I turn it to full cold and stand in it to try and build up my resilience to cold water. But it's a whole different level of cold in these little mountain streams. This is what Victoria brought in. Camp shower, rolled it up in her pack, <laughs> hung it up in a tree. And I had a shower. 
Was it good? Great. <laughs> um, it wasn't particularly warm because I didn't leave it out for that long, but it was um, probably as cold as a cold shower at a home, which isn't that bad. So I'm happy, I'm clean. Yeah, it must have been a bit warmer than being <laughs> in the Cobb River or a little tributary to the Cobb River. Although I feel great now, real good. Might have to cook my lamb wrap soon. But yeah, not much sunlight left. It's gonna go down over there and then we're gonna be probably a little bit chilly, might light fire. But it's just nice hanging out by the river, trickling sounds. Lots of good wood. Don't even need my saw to gather this stuff. The whole tree. Emerging from the bush. Look at that. Quick little forage. Got some of them good old trident hot and spices. Delicious vegetables in there. Five plus a day. Good for your health. It's a delicacy, I'll tell you what. Victoria's having issues with the sand flies. They're eating me alive. <laughs> These are the most savage sand flies I've ever come across. All of a sudden they attack. Needs to get it get it hot. Some of those big chunks of wood, I cut them up and we stack them and left them. They've probably been there for how long you reckon? Four or five months. Four or five months. And we made this fire pit. And it's all good to go. We have incinerated the sand fly. The heat of the fire and the smoke that it puts out gets rid of them pretty quick. Sandfly army is dispersed. But it's nice because we got this fire pit made up from another trip and we left some wood that's been there for probably about five months kind of drying out stacked up nicely so some air could flow around it. So we've got some good hunks in there. This is the frying pan that we're going to cook with. Picked it up from Kmart on the way out today. <laughs> The Morican bushcraft. I've got to cover my face so the autofocus can detect on it. Great little knife. I'll cut up my um, cherry tomatoes with that. Slice up my lamb. This is a uh, Silver Ferns Farms. We got 400 grams of lamb. It's been cooling in my cool bag. So we're going to um, season this with Moroccan. Cook it in the frying pan. Sprinkle some feta on it, cherry tomatoes, hummus, and make real nice wraps. So put some of this coconut oil. Master Foods Moroccan. I really like watching you cook. The whole Cobb Valley was going to be wafting with the scent of my lamb medallions. All the wickers would be screeching as I draw them in with unobtainable flavours. Got some good, nice goat feta. Put that onto my little lamb. Sprinkle the lamb on the goat. The goat on the <laughs> lamb. 
<laughs> and then wicker for dessert. Yum, yum, yum. Smart, but it's not fun. Ah! How's that look? That's right. Pretty tasty. Some bits are a bit thicker and some are a bit thinner. It's kind of hard to get it out of my little cook stove. I would say that Perfect. one was medium. That one's a bit pinker. It's maybe slight, no, not really. It's probably medium to well. This is just how Abel likes his meat cooked. Medium to well done. It's not not well too done. pink. <laughs> you can see enough pink in there. If it's too raw, he won't eat it. Does that look okay for you? Yeah, it's gonna be tender, juicy. Use it up. The goat feeder. I'm gonna get it all over my fingers. Smart, hey. Beans and rice. Nothing wrong with some beans and rice. My beautiful wrap. Looks delicious. Yum. This is my creation. <laughs> Pretty good. Sitting out by the fire. Mm. Is it nice? That's delicious, yum. Here we go. I'm going to try. Feet is good. That lamb is so tender. Better than the local kebab shop. The hummus, and it's elevated by the feta and the acidity of the cherry tomato. I'd say 7.8 out of 10. Oh no, I, I saw a big burst of cherry tomato. Well, that was the wraps. They're pretty phenomenal. What do you reckon, Victoria? They're delicious. I ate way too much. Yeah, pretty full, and I got a special little yogurt treat for dessert as well. But I'd like to just thank everyone for watching these videos, mm -hmm. and special thank you to the new subscribers. There's quite a few from America. This is New Zealand, <laughs> and this is the best place in New Zealand. And we get to come here, and it's great. It's our second home. The home God. away from home. <laughs> We pitched it up, and when we left it, it was taut. But look how saggy, how saggy it's gone just from the sun hitting it. That's not even water. You can tension it up and make it taut again, but this is what Sil Nylon's like. That's why I like my little Nemo Osmo tent, which just stays taut from when you pitched it. Just not really the biggest fan of Sil Nylon now after experiencing that Nemo Osmo fabric. It's lightweight and it's good, but sagging's kind of gross. Retensioned it. Just doing my dishes, heated up a bit of water in the pan, add a bit of dishwashing liquid, get my microfiber cloth, get everything nice and clean to put back in my pack. Fast. <laughs> Meanwhile, we've got this treat. Show us the treat, Victoria. It's a yogurt with black doris. I haven't eaten in Plum. three days. <laughs> this this is, is what we're having. I don't really know what this is. Yogurt. You're going to tip it on the camera. <laughs> black doris palms. It's been in my cooler bag. You got to get down into the yogurt. This is what you get in the Cobb Valley. You get treats. What do you mean this is what you get in the Cobb Valley? It's more like cream cheese. It's like a cheesecake. Mm. There's way too much on this bit. It's quite nice. 
eaten enough now. I can't <laughs> eat all of this. <laughs> Looks inviting with the tent. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah. Cozy under my quilt. Be nice, eh? How's it been? It's nice. It's really nice to get outside. We were just saying, how would it feel to be the person who burnt down the Cobb Valley? I just say it wasn't me. No. <laughs> gotta be safe when you've got a fire. So you can see the tent just there. That's Xenicus Peak. And the last bits of light coming down. I suppose it's time for bed. I'm really full. I'm quite tired. Go into bed and wrap ourselves up in the quilts. And probably have a good sleep. Get cozy. Yeah. I think there was a little bit of rain last night, but I had a pretty good sleep. It's about six o'clock at the moment. There's a little bit of colour in the sky, but not much. I think I'll get a coffee on the brew and just stay in bed and relax, listen to the birds. Starting off the day with the double dose <laughs> of Maconas. Victoria, Victoria's got some allergies. I think it's hay fever. <laughs> Pretty grassy here. What do I get these on? How peaceful. Got the fire going with some of the embers that were left in it. Wood's a little bit wet though. But it's going alright. It's quite a peaceful morning in the Cod Valley. The birds were singing very loudly at around about the time the sun was just beginning to give some light. But I was just like half asleep so I didn't get my mic out and record it. How are those allergies? You stuffed me up. <laughs> Less than ideal camping experience. <laughs> I think it's all the grass. There is quite a lot. How's that coffee? It's um, taking away some of the pain. Succulent, <laughs> juicy, surprisingly fruity, nice acidity. 
we ate way too much food last night and I actually had a really good sleep with a full belly and I feel pretty good today but I'm probably not going to eat anything for dinner time now <laughs> <clears throat> but I think we'll just relax for a bit enjoy our coffee and then slowly pack up and then just cruise on out the Cobb Valley and go home this has been nice to come away going out into the bush kind of resets you I reckon calms you down but it was another good trip and hopefully we're going to be doing the Nelson Lake soon my brother's coming down for Christmas and we want to do a big multi-day mission and explore all the Nelson Lakes so hopefully we can do that one which would be real nice lots of places to swim and camp and <clears throat> big mountains to climb so there's that to look forward to all packed up just gonna make our way back down the Cobb Valley now it was a nice trip too many sand flies though I think next time we camp in summer we've got to be above the tree line so we don't get ravaged and away from the grass and away from the allergies yeah but good trip nice to get out hope you enjoyed coming along and appreciate you watching but yeah we're going to head off now a few hours down the valley should be nice just a cruisy walk might stop have a coffee somewhere and that's the trip see you back, next time yeah see you next time back to reality now but yeah off we go